Each year, Youth in Music awards scholarships to outstanding members of our performing units. This year, we are presenting two scholarships in each of our four classes for a total of eight awards. Since the Youth in Music Marching Band Championships began in 2005, some 50 student performers have been awarded more than $15,000 to further their post-high school education. And now here are the winners of the 2020 Youth in Music Marching Band Championship Scholarships. Our first Class A scholarship winner is a member of the percussion section of the Andover Marching Huskies, Kira Hinkle. Kira has played snare, tenor, bass, and electronics. Music has been a large part of Kira's life, from elementary school piano recitals and singing in church to being a state champion with her marching band and as part of a mission trip music ministry while she was in high school. A senior this year, Kira has participated in band since she was in the sixth grade. She says being involved in music has changed her life and her future through the friends she's made and the leadership responsibilities she's attained. Kira says, Music has allowed me to enhance my leadership skills. In our school's marching band, I was a co-section leader of the front ensemble in my sophomore year and the section leader in my junior and senior years. I had the honor of receiving the Outstanding Leadership Award in my sophomore and senior years of marching band. The leadership roles helped me to connect with more members of the band and learn the importance of responsibility. I was able to lead my section to take pride and experience joy in our music, even when competitions didn't go well. Music has been and will continue to be a large part of my life. Music has guided me to the support of friends I have today and to the leadership skills that will assist me in college in my career. It has helped me to become the person I am today. Youth and Music salutes Kira Hinkle of the Andover Marching Huskies. Our second Class A scholarship winner is Amy Corinne Nelson of Lakeville South High School. Like many young musicians, Amy started on the piano and then learned the cello before she made it out of elementary school. She says she didn't catch on at first and felt frustrated that she couldn't feel the music inside of her body. She spent countless hours practicing and working to find that sense of musicality within herself. Amy credits her instructors with helping her discover she could achieve anything she set her mind to as long as she had passion. She says they have turned an extracurricular activity into a family and they emphasize the importance of community, passion, and pride. She has learned confidence, patience, teamwork, and a love for helping others. Amy looks forward to a career in pediatrics in the psychology field. She says, not only did I discover what I was looking for, I learned how to be steadfast toward my goals. I believe that by integrating music in my profession, I can help kids who might not have the ability to be involved in a band program. If there is anything that I have learned, it is that music is a gift to which all should have access. Youth and Music salutes Amy Corinne Nelson of Lakeville South High School. Our first scholarship winner in Class 2A is Lana Lynn Jovan of the Anoka Marching Tornadoes. In eight years of music, Lana says, she has gained many skills, such as leadership, teamwork, and confidence. Her experience learning drum major skills at the Music for All Summer Symposium opened her eyes to the many ways one can choose to be a leader. While her first year as drum major was full of trial and error, she and her fellow conductor worked together to lead the marching band into a great season with amazing performances. With the cancellation of the symposium this year, she helped this year's co-drum major learn the basic skills needed to lead the marching band, working as a team that was able to bring the band close together during these turbulent times. 
beginning as a struggling flutist in elementary school. Over the years, Lana gained confidence as her ability increased. In time, she rose to first chair in the school's top band, which gave her more confidence in herself and her ability to play. All of these important skills are thanks to the music program, she says. I am able to take these skills and incorporate them into my everyday life. I am incredibly grateful for everything music has given me. Youth and Music salutes Lana Lynn Hovan of Anoka High School. Our next Class 2A scholarship winner is Jonah Walt, drum major of the Hastings Marching Raiders. Jonah grew up in a musical household with older siblings playing guitar and saxophone. He says his family always had music playing on the stereo unless they were making music themselves. He thought taking up the saxophone himself would make him a cool fourth grader. And he says his goal then was to never be anything short of being better than his peers on the instrument. Although having an overly large ego as a middle school probably wasn't good at the time, he says, looking back in those days made him realize how he should behave. Going into high school, he began to recognize that he would gain more satisfaction from music if, like his instructors, he played it to inspire others. He says creating music for others has shaped his performing to what it is today. Jonah says, I have progressed and grown in numerous ways in my musical self. Between bringing the opportunity to be an active leader in my marching band, singing my heart out in the show choirs, and playing with any musicians I might know outside of school, music has helped me grow up and flourish into the person I want to be. My journey with music is nowhere near done. Youth in Music salutes Jonah Walt of Hastings High School. Our first scholarship winner in Class 3A is Cherish Stern drum major of the Brookings High School Bobcat Marching Band. Cherish has learned that through her involvement in music, she has found herself gaining in everything from friends to opportunities to personal improvement. She began playing in elementary school on piano, flute, and violin. She couldn't know it then, but a passion for music was formed, and it has stayed with her ever since. The people she met when she began music are still her closest friends, and they remain a group that shares the same musical goals and support each other while performing it. She notes that music has provided such new opportunities as taking trips and meeting important people, but also creating memories and experiences that could not have happened elsewhere. It is, she says, a gift that will stick with her for the rest of her life. Music can be the core to any person's success, Cherish says. I am so thankful for the decisions that I made to join the music groups I am involved with. I have learned so many lessons and grown as I have formed endless relationships, encountered countless opportunities, and bettered myself as an individual and a leader. Youth and Music salutes Cherish Stern of the Brookings High School Marching Band. Our next scholarship in Class 3A goes to Andrew Rowe, mellophone and French horn player for the Rochester Lures Marching Band. Andrew's love for music started at age three, when his father brought home a toddler's version of the Blue Man Group's drum kit. It began his obsession with music, and he credits his music teacher's passion for music, which he calls contagious. And she is the most instrumental person in shaping his love for music. In addition to marching and concert bands, Andrew plays in jazz band, honor band, and the winter drum line. He has learned how the players need to work together as a team, to push each other to excel, encouraging each other to work hard, yet keeping it fun. He has been section leader of the Melphone Group for the past three years. Last spring, he was part of an internet drum collaboration for the music group Red Point's music video. His submission was one selected from around the world. 
The collaboration allowed Andrew to continue to challenge himself and enjoy playing music that is completely different from school band music. Andrew says, as I move on to college, I will continue to participate in music programs. My plan is to become a doctor and incorporate music into the care of my patients, whether it is treating fellow musicians or using music to aid in healing. Music will always be a part of my life and career, and I cannot wait to be out there using it to help people stay happy and healthy. Youth and Music congratulates Andrew Rowe of Rochester Lourdes. Our first scholarship winner in Class 4A is Avery Babcock of the Rosemont Marching Band. Avery's love of music began in elementary school from the very first time she placed her hands on a piano keyboard. Through music, she has gained her closest friends, learned leadership skills, and it has made her the person she is today. She credits her piano teacher with helping her develop the skills of a college-age player by the time she got to high school. Struggling in high school with depression that took her away from many activities, adversely affected her grades, and even led to hospitalization. Avery says her music never left her. Concert band, marching band, and jazz band all provided an escape from the stress of school and sad thoughts and brought her closer to the people who were there in her darkest times. Being a section leader, she says, taught her how to stay focused, manage her time, and work hard even when times get tough. I'm devastated that the marching band season and parts of concert band had to be canceled this year, she says. But when I look back, I will always remember the performances during which I could look up at the stands and feel powerful and accomplished. I will always remember the silly moments and traditions we had as a team. And I will always remember my friends, teachers and directors who have brought me to where I am today. Youth in Music salutes Avery Babcock of the Rosemont High School Marching Band. Our final scholarship winner is a percussionist with the Irondale Marchy Knights of New Brighton, Minnesota, Camille Tinarella. Camille likes to cite a wise person who once said, music gives soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to the imagination, and life to everything. Her leadership career began in the 10th grade when she was tapped to be the section leader of the Front Ensemble. She admits she was nervous about accepting the position because she'd never been a leader before. She took on the role, however, because she wanted to get the experience and, well, there was no one else to step up to the position. Through the experience, Camille learned that being a leader is more than simply telling others what to do. She would be the first to arrive and the last to leave rehearsals. It fell to her to encourage and inspire the others and to give the extra effort to make sure everything ran smoothly. All in all, she says, music has shown her a creative side of herself that she never knew she had, allowing her to express who she is. Music has taught me so many lessons, has given me an outlet to express myself, and gave me friends I will have for the rest of my life, Camille said. Music is truly the most powerful thing ever. Youth Music congratulates Irondale's Camille Tenerella. Youth and Music would like to congratulate all of our 2020 scholarship winners for your leadership and inspiration. We look forward to your continued success as you pursue your academic and professional goals.